Well, here's Red Hunter, Dick Dead Eye, The River Hobbit, in Harlog, the undead zone of uh, the Lone Lands. And besides the usual uh, white seeking, including two white bosses, uh, I've got some bounty quests this time that I don't normally do. Uh, this is the completionist run. <coughs> so I'm seeking out these mushrooms everywhere. They weren't too hard to find. But I believe I've got to get 10, um, 10 ordinary whites and two named bosses. Now, there's nobody in the slope there, so it means another player must have taken out uh, those guys nearby, but it didn't stop me taking the first boss. Now I've got to seek out the second one, which is not easy. There's a number of places he can be, because he has a patrol. I'm also looking out for crawlers and flies, sickle flies, or the other bounty quests. Uh, there's the other boss. Take him out with Heart Seeker as usual. And uh, I decided to hand in the, what is it, five quests that I just achieved in a row. Uh, shrink the list before going on to do the other two bounties. So now I'm being sent back to Radagast in Osgurus. And crawlers and sickle flies, the zones they can be found are not quite the same, but there is an overlap. So if I generally go north, I should be able to get either one. And they're white and dark blue. Of course, there's plenty of sickle flies back in the swamps of Breeland, which is the Midgewater Marshes. And you can get some across the border to the east in Troll Shores. Of course, not for this quest, but <clears throat> their habitat is marshy ground. Like mosquitoes. And the crawlers are pretty well one shot with those, with just about any skill I choose. But I've done that, and my campfire teleport that the hunter has lets me get straight back to hand them in. And I've also got a teleport to Ostgoroth. So now I've fixed that up, back to Ostgoroth. Uh, got something to hand in to John. And now I'm just dealing with inventory, but get Radagast is up in the tower. And now he wants me to do his level 29 uh, instance. Now I decided uh, I'd take out that other um, vector quest that he gave me first since I've got the freedom to travel, so that this instance is the only thing on the list. So here we go. It's uh, marked as a possible uh, party instance, fellowship quest, but uh, when you do it solo, you get extra health and some extra attack power. But it still takes just as long to bring down 
boss things like the horns. You've got to take these out, uh, most of them. Uh, otherwise, uh, Radagast won't move on until you do. And there's one particular horn that's good to take out because he'll be in your way later on if you don't. But at the gateway here, we get undead obstructing the way. Most of the undead are whites related to Barrow Whites. You don't usually see, you see Whites that look like skeletons, but you don't see things entitled skeletons in this game much. There are also Spirits, the count is undead. Got some of those in this instance. But I'm using my Rain of Arrows and Low Cut, mostly. They're my AOE attacks. Now, on the way to do the next part, there are two more horns. And I can't use uh, Heartseeker on both of them. So that second one took longer to bring down. Now, I always turn around and keep an eye on the uh, minions when I fight this guy. So, go back to the spirit. Yeah, it says here to, to follow the spirits and uh, assist them, but that is not what you do. You follow Radagast and you strictly only get involved in fights that he gets involved in, because the others are unnecessary. Um, They just delay you. So, uh, talk to Elsa. Not the frozen Elsa, the bold Elsa. Right, keep following the brown wizard. And there's a few more whites and their arms. And Murkwaters, these are elite spirits. There's a second wave. And now we meet Ivar the Black Hand again, who way back in the uh, Elvish and Dwarvish tutorial uh, raised Skorgrim, the dwarf chief, from the dead. And uh, Ivar is not scheduled to die yet. But Radagast can make him retreat with a big lightning bolt spell. Now, this is Agamor. There'll be more quests to do here, but uh, I'm going to be going back to the North Downs for a while. Uh, as soon as the epic sends me there, because um, Esteldine, Meluinen, and the Dwarven Town, or through Car, or something like that, uh, their quests are all lower level than these are now. So I just went through putting things in and out on the list and restoring North Downs quests to the list. You see there, one's green, there's several turquoise ones. So they're now the top priority. Uh, talking to Elsa uh, <coughs> is the last little bit of uh, book two of volume one in the epic. Uh, uh, report that in, go back and talk to Frederick, and I already got book three from him, so that's already on the list. And so now I'm on the way to, to do that, start book three. Uh, you have to go to uh, Candace first, and he that's a free ride, and he gives you another free ride to Esteldine in the North Downs. This is the central town for that zone. 
take care of some inventory and pick up uh, for later the uh, side quests here. And out the back there'll be some more. There are some vector quests you get here. I've already got Arthurdain and its settlements. Already discovered some of those obelisks. But here's another vector quest. And uh, <clears throat> to shrink the list, I'll be going around achieving those. This is Tinadir uh, in it, even dim. I uh, tag the Tinadir stable while I'm here. And then ride on uh, to Oak Barton at the other end of Even Dim. So that's another uh, vector quest there. And then I've mithrilled to um, the Earth Kin out the back of this building. But Mincham is now sending me on the next stage of the epic. You know, I, instead of going straight up the road to the gates of Fornost. Uh, I uh, took this path because this is going to take me to a couple of places I need for explorer deeds. And sooner or later I'm going to have to finish all the deeds for the North Downs. But that tower was one place and this uh, quadrangle is another. And go out the back and come in this way to uh, the gates of Fornost. So I'll take out about 10 orcs, 10 wogs. And you can see from the level of the creatures why I switched from uh, Lone Lands to here. I've still got experience turned on. Now, I'm not wearing the Stone of the Tortoise at the moment because I want to go up to level 32 uh, so I can get my next level of crafted gear. But I've done the wargs and orcs and now I come in here looking for a treasure camp. Speak to Colbert the Mad again. And I went round all of these quests, seeing which ones are not fellowship quests. This is uh, solo completionist, so fellowship quests don't count. And I found that there were two uh, that were solo quests. And uh, if I'd known they were going to be green, I would have done this sooner. But bears and boars and uh, rock worms are the creatures that are not for a fellowship quest. Good enough bears. Oh, aurochs too, yeah. There's three of each of those. One more boar. There's one. Now, yeah, five worms. Those are elite. And one more. Okay, that's all I'm going to do in Fornost. Inside the gates of it, that is. Already done the fields of Fornost. Now, I've got another green quest for the Blog Mail Defiler, but it's not in Fornost. It's way over the uh, eastern side of North Downs. So I'm going to delay that until I've got other reasons to go that far. So we're back in Esteldeen. Uh, the things that uh, he asked me to do. Uh, now I've got three white quests. 
all from him and in the three different zones in the North Downs. So I had a uh, mithril point to this dwarvish town for quite some time. So now it's ready, I'm ready to do the side quests here. So I'm just checking I've got everything. And one of the tasks for Halvorad is at this fort that I'm heading towards. I've got a lynx quest and a bear quest. Now there are, uh, oh, the periwinkle, I'm just starting uh, the plant quest that's done in three different zones. Uh, I've got to take the, all that back to Orphon, who we've already seen. But I came down to this lynx nest to achieve most of that hunting quest. Don't need to fight any particular number of dwarves. And here's the second last founding stone. Last one's in Meluinen. Now I just get dwarves out of the way before I rescue the prisoner in there. And this is rated as a fellowship quest, but can be done solo. Uh, and you get a boost like before. So my uh, you can just see how my health went way down there. I needed to wait for it to heal up, back up, to get the greater quantity. Uh, that extra health seems to switch on and off at strange times while doing this quest. But I've rescued the prisoner. He's got to get his gems. I think the prisoner is one of the uh, 13 uh, dwarves from The Hobbit. And now it's just a matter of what's in the way on the way out. My uh, health just shot down then. It wasn't that I took damage, it was because the uh, extra boost just vanished at that point. Okay, nearly done. One more hawk. And Dory, yeah, he's one of the 13. Yeah, he can escape. Yeah, I've got uh, lynxes and bears to catch up on. I should have quite a haul of quests to hand in to get me towards level 32. Okay, one more bear. That's it. I'm going to ride around uh, and I've got to get more of those periwinkle plants. And they're usually at the top of hills. I've just got to search all the peaks. I know there's one very close to the town. One more and I can get that when I get close to the gates. There it is. Another five quests to hand in at once. It's, this must be the only dwarven town that doesn't have a smithy or any other crafting uh, locations. Right, I've got to talk to lots of people until you find who knows something about these plans. And that's giving me quests further afield. This time I do have to take out a fixed number of dwarves.
and now I have a particular number of scouts to take out first. I need to get them quite close to the town because that's the only place where scouts specifically exist. I've got a quest for the hawks. I'm following the pointer towards the mining camp where these plans are. I'm just looking out for hawks on the way. Okay, that's four of six. Now, there's an emergent quest for the miners. And uh, I've already got the quest for the yeast. Eight, eight miners needed. Uh, there's three little camps here. Norman, that's finished off the minor quest, the emergent one. Two more yeast sacks, and the boss over the back there will be holding the plans. So I've got there yeah, the mining map. Uh, got that now. And there's a new emergent quest to go further on and take the dwarven boss, the uh, dower hand boss. I'm taking these out just because they're in the way. And uh, the boss has three specific guards. I don't think you have to take them all. But I just want to get within bow shot of the boss. And I can do that from here. So I give him a um, heart seeker and defend myself and now I'm done. So this real back to the uh, town. And we should have just about finished this little zone. Oh no, that's right, there's the father load. <laughs> uh, dwarves won't call it a mother load. It's father load up to the northwest, where the ore is best, I guess. And it's, I used to think of it as a fair distance, but now I've gotten used to the zone, it's really not that bad. I haven't done that very often, but just because of how far away it was. You know, I've just uh, gone up to level 32, so I've turned experience back off again. I'm wearing the uh, Stone of the Tortoise, and I'm just doing another uh, vector quest to get it off the list. You know, I've got one return to Halbarad quest, and because of that I was going to do the level 32 crafting here. Uh, in Estelle Dean, but I realised that there is no VIP guy in this zone so that I can do it quickly. Uh, the VIP rewards guy that sells you the potion that makes you go fast crafting. So when I made the first one here, I saw how slow it was and said, no, 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 that's no good. I'll go off to Michelle Delving where there is a VIP uh, rewards person standing there and I may as well do the crafting in Michel Delving. Getting dark. <clears throat> so I do them in the usual order. Forester, deal with raw materials. Um, some of the ranks of crafting have become irrelevant now because I've already filled out the maximum experience for them. But I've got all of these uh, furs to turn into usable hides. And then in tailor, I convert them back and forth to leather scraps and then back to hides <clears throat> to work up the experience on that rank.
just so that I can do the next one. So now I can make myself a new set of medium armor. Uh, put this next uh, rank of crafting. So I just create one of each, oh, using ingredients, um, the ingredient packs, because I've got plenty of those. And now I've worn all the new armor and sold the old, as well as the, uh, the useless lower level hides. Now, woodworker. I, I don't bother to collect wood, so I've got to use ingredient packs to work up my experience in the old rank, uh, the third rank, uh, just to be able to start using the fourth. But that will now, once I sell all those clubs I made, uh, I can now get a better bow and a couple of clubs of the next rank up. So all of those are giving me higher DPS than I had. One bow, two clubs. Of course, clubs are the only wooden melee weapon that the hunter can use. And, and then you, that doesn't start at level one. You can only use clubs a bit later on. So I'm now I'm back at uh, the North Downs at Meluinen, the Elvish village. And that's epic, picking up one of the three different zones tasks. Hit the stable here for another time. And Butterbur is one of the plants that I've got to take to Orthon. <clears throat> so I just get a few of them now. And then I go up the hill to hunt for aurochs. So I want five cuts of meat. Uh, accidentally got two at once there. They're, um, they're turquoise. I'm dodging the calves. I'm not 100% certain that the calves yield a hunk of meat. Not a big enough steak for the elves to eat. The elves are not vegetarians. You'd think they might be, but they're not. Right, sickle flies and shattered barrels are the uh, emergent quests here. The striders I don't need, but I'm just picking off flies along the way. I saw a barrel back close to the town, but still need more flies yet. <clears throat> Don't need the orcs until a bit later. And there's a barrel. And another fly, and that's an emergent quest finished. So now I go back and hand in another one, and that makes more side quests available at Meluinen. Including from the grocer. And that will do.